Your challenge is this. Build a rig that houses a pound of C4 and a few gallons of paint. When it explodes, <laughs> it should provide 360 degree coverage to the four walls of a 12 foot by 12 foot room. So right now our plan is to use a series of mortars to paint our walls. And then we're gonna attach all these into a larger container to hold our single explosive. And what that's gonna do is help us direct all the energy out so we can shoot the paint out of the mortars exactly where we need to go on all four sets of walls. I'm really happy about the design that we have. I think our team really worked well together. <laughs> and we know exactly what variables we need to look at. Is this going to make it so perhaps it just shoots straight out and doesn't help us spread? If we put it into the trumpet, are we gonna get a better, wider coverage? Or if we put it in this curved in one, is it gonna actually help us to get some distance? Oh, All right. On. Which one do you want to do first? Put it on this wall. This one? Yeah. To test their tubes, they're gonna try each different nozzle with 50 grams of black powder and see which spreads the paint best. All right, we're good. You ready for this? Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. A trio of nozzles means a trio of booms. One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three. Ooh. And when the paint clears, the numbers are in. <laughs> what is this? 70% for the straight tube, 30 for the trumpet, and a patchy 50 for the crimp tube giving them all the data they need for full scale. The blue team is distributing their paint into 36 mortars. And if everything goes according to plan, the dandelion should channel the pressure wave through the mortars, through the paint, and onto the four walls. Blue team, full scale, dandelion of doom, and three, two, one. The blast blew the lid right off their dandelion and almost took out the room, lock, stock, and 36 smoking barrels. 